South Africa and today we are looking at a shootout uh, between this the original uh, PRS Silver Sky John Mayer uh, signature model and now the new one uh, the dead spec uh, 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 release which is a limited re uh, release a limited edition of uh, 1000 uh, guitars only made uh, worldwide Take it on, Brandon. How's it, Tom? Thanks for having me on your show once again. Talking about some really cool guitars. And yeah, guys, let's um, talk about this beauty. Got some light going on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quite an interesting guitar. Quite unusual. This is actually a modified version of John Mayer's original signature Silver Sky. What do we have here? First of all, there's no tremolo. Elder, uh, sorry, um, ash body with a satin nitro finish. This is still all nitro. And then what you have here is a, a plate here. It's not your normal sort of style jack plate. It's actually mounted on the top. But this is actually a preamp. It actually boosts the signal. And it's an active boost. It actually um, engages a 3 to 14 decibel boost, which is adjustable. You can actually adjust the amount of gain that you would like to add. And then it also um, adds capacitance to the cable. Um, basically the idea of this guitar, um, John May had this guitar made, basically a modification of his original when he toured with Dead & Company um, on their last tour and basically this guitar was to get the, the tone, the signature tone um, that, called the alligator tone. Now to make this possible, boosted preamp, um, no floating trim, although what you have here is actually the Gen 3 pattern trim from, from PRS. So the Gen 3 pattern trim is what you find mostly on your Custom 24 models. And what they have done here is actually a neck through set screwed into the top. There's no tremolo. It does have the tremolo hole, but it's actually set right into the body there. Um, they've included the brass block that the original tremolo um, system um, includes just for resonance and to get a nice bright sharp tone. Um, moving on. The latest version of John Mayer's um, signature pickups. I believe that's one of the first ones you um, that came out, Thomas. No, this is the, the first one. The uh, first one, yeah. And this was the limited color run, and uh, that even <laughs> has become a favorite color. Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> guitar. But they've actually changed the spec quite a bit since then. Um, the pickups are still, it's exactly the same name pickups, but he, John Mayer's changed the spec slightly. I think we're on the third version now. Yeah, if I'm correct, so there's a third version of the pickups. So all the new Silver Sky models have a third version of the pickup. They try to um, improve wherever they can. Um, but going, coming back to this guitar, pickups are the same, but it's got that, that boost feature, which we will um, demo in just a second. Also, one thing that is different, you've got a brass nut, and then you also have um, this string retainer or a string tree as some people would call it which basically pushes down on the string and this actually This actually helps getting this those piano Resonant tones um, which he was trying to get for for this tour playing with dead and company um, I'm gonna demo it for you in just a few seconds, but basically this adds quite a lot of resonance and sustain to the guitar um, but because originally if you have a floating tremolo system that system actually resonates quite well um, and in this case you don't have that the guitar does feel a little bit different it does resonate slightly different through the body it does sound a little bit different but this adds extra resonance to this guitar but i mean let's hear what it sounds like mm -hmm. all right let's just start on a clean bridge there we go <laughs> Second position. <laughs> 
engage this boost. This is where the magic happens. Like it's currently set to the standard um, setup that comes from Factory, which is a three decibel boost. So it's, it won't be very different, but listen to that. Okay, boost that. Quite a glassy. Yeah, it's glassy. Very. So that boost does more than just a, a signal boost, but it actually sharpens that tone, that tone tightens it up quite a bit. Quite interesting. I'm just going to test it with some gain, and then we're actually going to compare it to the original Silver Sky. Okay, let's start off on the bridge pickup. <laughs> John Mayer's kind of sound, but I mean, this guitar is capable of a lot more. Also, one thing, these pickups are noiseless to an extent. I mean, that's a quite a lot of game. Tending the noise really well for a single coil pickup, eh? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's, um, let's give this one a shot. And it's very light, they've actually gone out of the way yeah, to it's find very it, light, a yeah. really light piece of um, yeah, ash. A bone ash, yeah. yes. Okay. So this, this, just a brief on this spec, you've got a stainless steel um, style uh, tremolo system, which John Mayer um, originally chose with the Silver Sky. Same pickups, just the first version of the pickup. Um, that's got a satin neck, this has got um, a glossy um, nitrocellulous finished neck and yeah let's hear what it, let's hear what it sounds like this is the original guys cool clean sound bridge there we go <laughs> Quite an interesting tone, let's hit some drive guys, let's see what this thing is made of. Interesting. I yeah. think to me it sounded like this gives sort of a more brighter uh, sound, uh, like you're saying. Because uh, I understand he, John Mayer, he had uh, an experience playing with, uh, I think it's Andy Garcia, who was mm. uh, then with uh, De Grateful Dead, that yeah. had uh, this type of uh, a preamp and this. Uh, 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 a sort of spring tree uh, yeah. that is uh, retainer giving system. you a retainer system yeah. that is giving you an additional tension on the strings, giving you an, uh, 
that you said they gave it a instead a piano a piano tone, tone which was known as the alligator tone. So <laughs> the alligator yes. tone, yeah. You can yeah, it sort of gives uh, sort of a bit uh, on a, a brighter mm. and uh, that uh, very articulate. Tone. Yeah, like yes. your it's a very sensitive tone. So. It kind of you can't hide your mistakes on an, on an active system when it's powered on. Every every mistake will be will be present in the moment. Yeah, it will be. But it's uh, really it's really good. Uh, tell us uh, which uh, of these two guitar do you prefer? Which tone do you prefer? Let's hear in the comments uh, down below. Also, don't forget we'll be giving away uh, Ebanes Geo when we reach a thousand subscribers. Uh, to qualify for the guitar giveaway you have to subscribe to beautiful guitars and also comment like on all our videos that were uploaded so far and that will be uploading weekly cheers from beautiful guitars and uh, brandon from Marshall music and woodmint john's South africa cheers, cheers. <laughs>